quarantine day number. I can't remember what day it is. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Gino, check it back in for another video today. I decided to pick up the camera today and just kind of take you guys through my day since, uh, well, this whole self isolation slash quarantine situation is uh, a pretty unique one. I think nobody is actually used to this or knows what to do during this whole entire situation, and myself included, like, uh, it took some adjusting, not gonna lie. And I've just been trying to make the best out of this whole situation. If you're stuck at home, if you can't go to the gym or can't go uh, outside, because I know that a lot of countries actually have a full lockdown, uh, you kind of have to make the best of it, right? So in this video, I'm gonna be taking you guys through my day to show you guys what I've been doing to keep myself busy, to actually come out of this whole entire situation a lot better, in the hopes to maybe give you guys some inspiration on what to do, and perhaps give you guys some entertainment, because, uh, well, it's not like you have anything else better to do. Let's start the video. So yeah, like I said, it's been uh, quite an interesting, like, what has it been? Two weeks? Ever since day one, I've just tried to make the best out of the whole situation. Of course, it sucks that the gyms are closed and that we can't go to the gym itself because you can do the home workouts. You can maintain your physique perfectly fine just doing that. But the whole principle of going to the gym and being in the gym means quite a lot to me. And uh, not gonna lie, I had some tougher times adjusting to the whole uh, self-isolation slash quarantine situation. So anyway, what I've been doing instead is I've been doing a lot more reading. I've actually been reading a lot of this book called Way of the Wolf, which in case you guys don't know, uh, is the guy from Wolf of Wall Street, the actual Wolf of Wall Street. And I've just been making the most out of the situation by uh, gathering a lot of new knowledge. I've been a fan of reading books for a long time already, but now that I have a lot more free time, I've just been reading up, catching up on a lot of books that I've uh, been on pause with for a <laughs> pretty long time, not gonna lie. And I just have the whole mindset of getting out of this whole situation as a better man. So besides reading, I've also been doing a lot of home workouts, all right? I've been keeping myself active, keeping the muscles pumped up, which is actually the most important aspect to um, not being able to access the gym and maintaining your physique as best as possible. Maintenance volume, which is basically the amount of volume or sets per week uh, you need to do in order to maintain your current level of muscle mass is very low, guys. It's very, very low. If you're able to go to a gym, uh, maintenance volume is typically around like 10 sets per week. And if you just ensure that you're taking all of the sets or at least one set uh, of your home workout program to absolute muscular concentric failure, uh, you're good to go, man. And it's even perfectly possible to make progress if you're taking these exercises to failure. You simply need to provide your muscles with an adequate enough stimulus to maintain or grow from the workouts that you're doing. And in terms of my calories, I've actually been eating at maintenance for the time being. I'm obviously burning a lot less calories than I'm stuck at home between like four walls or however many walls the house has. So I'm burning less calories, I'm a little bit less active and in order to stay in shape and maintain my current level of body fat. So that I'm just literally, as the word implies, maintaining my current physique. If you're still a beginner, you can gain muscle mass quite nicely by just doing these home workouts and taking your sets to failure to provide an adequate enough stimulus to your muscles. But since I've been lifting for eight freaking years, uh, that's probably not going to happen. And the biggest tip that I can give you guys, especially for your workouts, is try to add as much external load to your exercises as possible. So that can mean wearing a backpack and loading it up as heavily as possible with books, perhaps some, some waders, some dumbbells that you have lying around the house. Pro tip, check your addicts because there might be a little surprise for you there. <laughs> Filling up water jugs, using a broom and adding something like, um, a bucket on both sides with evenly distributed weight. There are lots of ways to make these home workouts more intense. Now here in the Netherlands, we're still allowed to go outside. So I've been taking some longer walks outside, just going around the whole um, area that we have right here outside. So I'm not coming across a lot of people, well, basically like zero people because I'm walking in like the middle of nowhere. And that just allows me to up my step amounts for the day, which I keep track of on my process. Wait, hold on. HR Core Iris Watch. So besides all of those things that I've been keeping myself busy with, I've just been stuck behind this desk like uh, pretty much the majority of the day. I put all of my clients on home workout programs of just the demonstrations so that they come out of this whole situation the best as they possibly can. And one thing that I was actually super surprised to see 
was that I've, I've actually been getting a lot more new clients, actual online coaching clients during this whole situation, right? So it's, it's even motivating for me to see that uh, there are so many of you who are still motivated to start crushing their goals, keep crushing their goals, and uh, just make the best out of this whole freaking situation, right? There's no need to sit in the corner of a room crying because you can't go to the gym. Like I said, if you take these home workouts seriously, there is still a lot of room for progress. Okay, so here's lunch for today, guys. Uh, so what I have right here are um, some egg whites, around 300 milliliters, which I always just weigh out. And then I added some beef right here, two slices of brown bread and two, um, are those tangerines or mandarins? Mandarins, you stupid. Oh wait, wait, we're back to, we're changing sides. Yes, this is working for you. Oh honey, you work it. Is this better? Yes, you work it. All right, so anyway, now that the lighting is perfect, uh, this is my lunch right here. I have decreased my calories slightly. I'm not burning as many calories as I normally do since, well, I'm pretty much just stuck at home all day and uh, doing these home workouts. So I have decreased my calories slightly. I'm currently just eating at maintenance, which means that uh, normally I eat around 200 to 300 calories above my maintenance in order to be on the lean bulking phase. But now it's the maintaining and I don't really want to gain like a lot of unnecessary body fat. I'm just sticking to 3000 calories. Now that is my maintenance amount of calories. What your maintenance is will depend on your activity level. Um, and what you're doing on a daily basis in terms of like work and stuff. Uh, so eating 3000 calories per day. So my meals are a little bit lighter in terms of like uh, the amount of bread that I'm putting in my meals, the amount of oats that I'm using uh, to all keep it a little bit more in balance. So like I said, this is my lunch. I'm going to be eating this and then <laughs> I think just continue to work until all the work no, is done. No, you're going to help me do the laundry. Oh yeah, wait, fuck, I made an appointment. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna help her with the laundry and then I'm going to be working again. Casey, let's make you a celebrity. Hello. Hey. Oh, no, no, he doesn't like it. No. I actually told the people that we had new puppies, yes. but I forgot to show the puppies. And no. guess what? The puppies are at home right now. So I promise today, once the puppies arrive back, I will show you guys the puppies. Yeah, you little fatty, you go eat that thing. I gotta maintain these gains. Mm, yeah, you're gonna put that in your mouth. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the camera. I swear to God, this dog is like a human. Look how he's eating. Leave him alone. Like owner, like dog. No, <laughs> that's not nice to say. little circuit that is more focused on the cardio side of things since um, just walking outside if you're able to or walking around the house can be a little bit tedious at times uh, that's at least what I noticed myself so uh, by making these workouts uh, a lot more enjoyable a little bit more fun you can still burn quite a lot of calories while still having some fun with it instead of just walking into the middle of nowhere. 
But the message that I want to give with this video is just to make the best of the whole situation, right? Uh, just complaining about it will not get you anywhere and it will only make things worse. So just try to make the best out of all the extra free time that you now have. If there was ever anything that you had to put off simply because you didn't have enough time for it or didn't have the possibility to actually focus on that one specific thing, then make use of the time and the focus that you now can put towards that one specific thing. You can do so many things right now, man. You can learn a new language, you can work on your photography skills, uh, read more books like I've been doing personally, start up a new business or perhaps an online business. You know, there are so many things that you can do with the time that you have. You basically have two options. You can make the best of it and come out of this whole quarantine situation as a better person, or you can sit around just wasting time on something that will not bring you any benefit in the long run. And after all of this is over, head back to your normal life. And I probably regret that you didn't actually put the focus towards the things that you wanted to focus on, but didn't have the time for. I truly believe that situations like these uh, really put a test to all of us to see what we can do and what we will do now that we have a lot more free time on our hands, all right? If you ever use the excuse, I don't have time, you can throw that excuse out of the window right now. And if you're still not chasing your goals or doing something that you really want to do, but never make the time for, then you have some thinking to do right here. All right, so before I'm going to be ending the video right here, I quickly want to announce that I'm going to be making a new series on my YouTube channel. I'm planning to make an informative video every Tuesday regarding training. So this can be exercise guidelines, specific workouts, everything that you can think of regarding training and working out. I'm going to be making an informative video on to teach you guys all of the necessary principles to building muscle and getting the most from your workouts. So I've been planning all of that out and that is something that I've been using my free time for as well. So expect those videos to come and that series to start once the quarantine is over. So that's it for this video guys. I sincerely hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to smash the like button because it truly helps out the channel grow. Comment down below and subscribe to the channel and turn post notifications on for so much more content coming really soon. I'm out guys and peace out. See you in the next one.